What's going on guys, welcome back to Cheeky Crypto, I am JB and today we're going to have a look at Solana, take a look at the one hour, the one day and the one week time frames, what has happened, what has likely to happen next, you know the script by now guys, it's all the usual good stuff here, keeping our fingers on the pulse of the price action. If you're enjoying the content recently, you enjoyed today's video, smash up the like button, subscribe, tap on the bell, selecting all of the notifications so you never miss a video coming to you from Cheeky Crypto. And, you know, let's waste no time. Straight down into the charts. Solana paired up with USDT. On this one hour chart, we will be looking at BitGet Exchange as the data source, where we can see quite the run to the upside. Now, we covered it in previous videos, and I will be covering this one again to point out the fact we had this large spike to the upside obviously off of the back of the ETF fake news that was released. I've seen many places online and the likes of X and you know all these other social places talking about how we should not be including this price. That it was fake. It never happened. Well it did happen. We can see the candle on the chart. We can see the wick. The price moved there and we have to respect the fact that the price moved up to these levels. So in particular here we can see the price action for Solana pushing up to 24.821 cent. We have to acknowledge that the price moved up here. You can forget about it if that's the way you want to chart. That's perfectly fine. It's entirely up to you. However, the true meaning of price analysis is tracking each and every move price makes, including the wicks. The wick came up to this 24.821 level and you have to include it, in my opinion, whenever you chart anything. So we can obviously take the moves that have played out and look what is going on. Now, we can see off the back here, it looks very impulsive, this push to the upside. When we bring the move over from the wave one under Elliott Wave Theory, the wave one 100% move, we bring it to the base of the wave two, we can see the 1.618 was triggered here at 23.970. So we know we are in an impulsive move to the upside. How far can this impulsive move go? Well, we can track this move also. We can take the low of the wave two to the high of the wave three, where we would typically look between the 30, 38.2 and the 50% retracement levels, right down here. And we can see on this candle, 16th of October, 3 p.m. UTC plus one, we can see the price coming down to 22.909, just lower than the 0.5 retracement level. Totally fine. So we have seen the clear move down in the wave four. So from here, we can then, you know, look ahead and target out this move in the wave five. Where is it likely to go? Well, you take the move of the wave three down to the low of the wave four, and you will then look for the 1.236 to the 1.618. And this is the target area for this fifth wave coming right up here between 25.295 and $26.082. We know now we are looking for this next break to the upside. However, I don't think it's going to happen quickly. It's not going to be an overnight kind of thing, not like what we see with this fake pump to the upside. We may see this retrace again before we see a push to the upside however the move to the upside is the next you know move we are looking at here we can see the price currently is dropping back down towards the 50 ema roughly around about 23.23 dollars 70 we're roughly around that area so we know we are looking for that retrace to come back down then you know, continue the move to the upside. When we look at this through the lens of smart money concepts, we have a weak high on the charts. For some reason, it's very dull on today's chart. I will have to address that after here. We have a weak high. We are trading well above equilibrium and we have obviously seen a bullish change of character. The price action for Solana is under smart money concept. Now bullish, looking for continuation to the upside for the, the price action. So this tells us overall, guys, that we are looking for a push to the upside. However, I do think we could be looking for a, a squeeze back to the downside before we do continue up. This would obviously... Um, how best articulate this? This would go against the narrative of many online. Everybody wants to see the prices go to the moon. We're in a bull market. This is the worst bull market if this is a bull market. Let me you know, put that out there bluntly. If this is a bull market, I, want, I don't want to be involved here. This is a bear market. These are pumps in a bear market. Totally expected and it's perfectly fine. So we know we have this wave four move completed here. We never crossed the wave one high coming at 22.291. The wave four coming down here to 22.909. So we are looking for this move to the upside. And what do we see playing out? Well, we have the first impulsive move to the upside here, coming up to as high as 24.56 cent. Now we could look at this as the wave one. We are st still in the wave two, and I do think we are still going to come back down. 
we could potentially have this wave three, four and five, bringing us a little bit higher up here. But overall, I do think we will be looking for a pump to 25.295 to 26.082 here on the one hour chart. From there, I will obviously expect a bit of a retracement, but we have to see the prices go up there first. And as we said before, we are trading above the 50 EMA. We are trading above the 200 EMA, both bullish signs. We can see the stochastics are resetting very quickly here. The one hour looking for a move to the upside we will quickly jump up to the four hour and we can see the four hour stochastic is moving down very quickly with little to no price action. So this tells us there's a lack of momentum to push the price down. Whereas previously we've seen this large push to the upside with, you know, reasonable price action. We then had a small move to the downside and obviously we had the large push to the upside here giving us that wick off of the, the ETF news. So we know the, the price action moving up is moving up very well with the, S, uh, the stochastic RSI but moving down very poorly with the stochastic RSI. You don't have to follow these. These don't have to be hard and fast rules, but we have to acknowledge, you know, we see similarities going on here. Don't trade uh, your using solely the stochastic. It just basically tells you the momentum behind the moves that are playing out. But overall, we can expect a bit of a pullback to come. Then we will be looking for this push up on the, you know, the one hour, the four hour kind of time frames to 25 to $26. When we jump up a chart here, we have a look at the one day chart. We'll move over to Binance for the, the data source here. Um, we can track that we are still overall in a very bearish structure for Solana on the, the daily here. When we look at smart money concepts, we do have the bullish, uh, sorry, the bearish continuation of the structure. It's highlighted here, the BOS break of structure, but it should be titled the um, CTS, the continuation of the structure. This was also further confirmed over here, most recently um, in June 2023. But when we move back up the charts, we can see this change of character coming all the way back here on uh, the 8th of May 2022. So smart money concepts tells us we are still bearish. We have never changed to... Um, a bullish structure since we've seen the, the bearish change. We would have to, uh, in my opinion, see the price push up higher than $48.38 on the Binance Daily chart here for the, the, the smart money concept um, structure to change bullish. But we can also take note of a few things here on smart money concepts, telling us over here we do still have a weak high and we have a strong low. So smart money concepts has a bit of confidence here. It is not expecting this low of $12.80 to be broken. It is expecting a further push to the upside. But we have to take that, you know, as it is on the charts. When we see the price move further down towards the strong low, we would obviously then expect that to be um, changed out here. What else we can take note of, the 50 EMA and the 200 EMA here on the daily charts are very close together. We are trading above both 50 and 200 EMAs and the 50 EMA is very close to crossing higher than the 200 EMA. This gives you the narrative that it's bullish and I have just noticed we have had a change of character here. I don't know why I've never seen that before. We have a bullish change of character on the charts here. This, to me, I'm not changing my opinion, I'm not changing my narrative, I still see the, the, the price to the downside. I'd see this as a bit of a, a fake out because overall we're looking at the market and it's in a very precarious position just now. With the moves that obviously the ETF spurred on, is this going to create further negativity in the space, you know, a lot of selling pressure? I do believe that is the case. We can expect the likes of Bitcoin going by elite wave structures looking towards $23,000, $20,000. If we see these prices move down to here, what do we expect to see for altcoins, Solana in particular here? Well, I do think we will see a big retracement. So under the structures I'm looking at here, we have this C wave move to the downside. Yes, this C wave move can be complete down here at $8, the current bear market low for Solana. However, if we do expect these prices to come back down as they do, and I do fully believe we will see the prices come down here, I don't think the low is in for Bitcoin yet. We see the prices drop that hard for Bitcoin in particular, these altcoins are going to suffer. And that's why we can understand that we would have to see lower prices. So this white C wave move within the yellow C wave has a target area between $5.32 and $3.48. It's scary to look at, it's scary to think about. We can currently see the prices at $23 to think the best part of $20 could come off of the price of Solana. Is scary to think about? Yes, it most certainly is. But it's also a fantastic opportunity. This, these are projects you believe in. These are projects you want to invest in. We have to appreciate the fact that the, these projects can still, can still tank in price and we could still be expecting very low prices for many altcoins, especially in the space. So that was a tangent I went off in there and I can apologise. 
Back to the structure in hand, I am tracking this as an ABC to the downside. Yes, I can appreciate this save wave could be complete here at the $8. The bottom is in for um, Solana and it's going to the moon. But this C wave actually has a one to one of $4.81 and the 1.236 Fib level coming at $2.79. So when we come back and look at the internal counts here, this ABC structure may just be the structure that is in play with $5.32 being the target for this bear market for Solana. But you guys let us know your thoughts and your opinions. Where do you see the price action for Solana going? These are purely my opinions and my thoughts just obviously put into video form here on YouTube. Do with them as you will, but it's obviously not advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I cannot give you financial advice. But I'd like to put my opinion out there, my thoughts on where I think the price action is going. From here, we will take a look at the one week chart and we can track the moves that are playing out in this bear market for Solana. Now, overall, I can see I'm looking at this as the yellow ABC structure to the downside, where previously I did highlight that we are looking at $4.81 to $2.79. That is the one to one to the 1.236 of this initial move down in the bear market. If this is not the case and we have seen the bottom at $8, then we are looking at a WXY, X and Z structure to the downside, where we can see the WXY coming in here, this being the X wave, that being a Z wave. However, I think we have a five wave structure within this drop down here, moving up in a retracement and we could be expecting a further five wave structure down here for the price action for Solana which once again, guys, would bring us very deep down here for the price action. Now, another thing I do have highlighted on the chart here is this trend line where we can see it acting as support on a couple of occasions. We can look for the price to come back down here and test it. And I do think this will be a very interesting level to see tested. We are trading below the 50 EMA, but trading higher than the, two, uh, the 50 SMA. It's going to be interesting to see how these prices react here. But this is my thinking behind it. We're expecting the prices to draw back for many projects in the space, Bitcoin being included. If that draws back, you're going to see altcoins draw back and Solana will be a victim of the drawback. Whether it goes lower than $8, you know, it's going to be hard to see just now. That is obviously the minimum expectation of the C wave potential as a double bottom. However, we can look one more time here. The target area for that C wave is $5.32 to $3.48. And the bigger C wave target area is between $4.81 and $2.89, where we can see a heavy overlap here between the $4.81 high level of this yellow C wave and $3.48, the lower level of the white C wave. So we may have a very interesting area right here for Solana for the bear market. But again, guys, that is obviously my thoughts, my opinions, what I'm looking at in the charts, what I see in the structures. But you let us know what you think. Where are you targeting Solana to go? in this bear market and where are you targeting it to go in the bull run always fantastic to hear your guys thoughts and opinions we will obviously leave that there for today if you are going to trade please do trade safely have a nice tight stop loss make some great gains stay safe in the space and until next time guys have a very nice day